Welcome to this video on the Contax RTS camera. The Contax RTS was an aperture priority automatic exposure camera with manual override aimed at the professional market. It is a manual focus camera that accentuated metering. It takes lenses of the Contax Yashica line made by Carl Zeiss, Yashica and other manufacturers. There is the regular version and the RTS Fundus medical and scientific version. Both are shown here. Introduced in 1975, the camera has a manual film winder and a rewind crank for film rewind. The film speed range is 12 to 3200 ASA in one third of the stop increments. Metering is centre weighted metering only. The range of shutter speeds is from 4 seconds to 1 2000th of a second. Shutter flash sync speed is 1 60th of a second. An electronic cable release can be attached to a custom socket. There is also a depth of field preview button and a mirror lock. Multiple exposures are supported, interchangeable focusing screens are available for this camera. There is a battery check button and indicator light. Exposure compensation of plus or minus two stops is available in one half stop increments. The main controls on the Contax RTS are the film winder, the exposure counter, the shutter release, the film speed dial and exposure compensation control, the battery check lamp, the rewind crank, the automatic mode or manual shutter speed dial. On the back of the camera are the viewfinder cover, the battery check button, the cable release socket. On the front of the camera are depth of field preview button at the bottom of the lens mount, lens release at the top of the lens mount, mechanical self timer. Exposure check button. PC sync port. Mirror lock. On the bottom of the camera is a film rewind release button. This is also used for taking multiple exposures. A tripod socket. And the battery compartment that takes a 4LR44 battery or a replacement silver oxide battery 544 or PX28. There are also connections for a motor drive. When the film has been wound on, the shutter can be fired using the shutter release. The shutter speed is set by rotating the shutter speed wheel. A is for aperture priority automatic. The film speed is set manually by lifting up the film speed ring and rotating the film speed ring to indicate the desired film speed. The film speed ring is then dropped back down. In automatic mode, exposure compensation is set by rotating the film speed dial. Compensation range is plus or minus two stops in one half stop increments. To rewind the film, press the rewind release on the bottom of the camera and then rotate the rewind crank until the film is back in the cartridge. The camera also has a mechanical self timer. This is activated by rotating it anti-clockwise as shown. The self timer starts when the silver lever underneath is rotated anti-clockwise. The mirror lock lever is used to lock the mirror up. The meter reading is not saved, so it is best used in manual mode. A contacts round diopter lens can be mounted in the viewfinder cover. Pressing the battery check button on the back causes the lamp on the top of the camera to light up, if the battery is good. The 
cable release socket is used to connect a contact cable release and other compatible accessories. The Contax RTS uses the original type of Contax cable release. There is a PC sync port for use with a flash that doesn't use a hot shoe. You have to ensure the shutter speed is 1 60th of a second or lower. The camera has no TTL flash metering. Flashes must be used in non-TTL mode, either by using the guide number, a meter built into the flash or a flash meter. A flash can be connected using either the PC sync port or the hot shoe. The viewfinder illustration from the brochure is shown here. The viewfinder displays the shutter speed as a steady value. There is also an indication of when the camera is in automatic mode. The aperture scale of the lens is shown, along with an indication of the currently set value. There is also an indication of when exposure compensation is in use. The RTS fundus has a raised lip around the shutter release button to reduce the risk of accidentally taking a picture. The fundus also has a mode lock button on the front of the camera. This must be pressed to change the camera from automatic to manual mode and also when changing shutter speed from 1 60th of a second to flash sync speed. The Contax RTS was Contax's first professional camera and marked the start of the RTS real-time system range of cameras. The shutter release on the camera is noted for its tendency to accidentally expose frames because of the very light pressure used to trigger the shutter release. This is intended to reduce camera shake. The shutter release has a travel of 0.7mm. There is no half press on the shutter release. You should remember to always use the exposure check button on the front to activate the viewfinder and only use the shutter release to take a frame, unlike a lot of SLRs. It probably helps if you don't wind the film on until you are ready to take a shot. The RTS fundus had a lip added around the shutter release to help address this issue. However, I have managed to accidentally take a shot with the RTS fundus. The exposure compensation indication popping up into the viewfinder image area is a bit of an odd feature and the default focusing screen only having a microprism collar with no split screen is unusual. These two features and the feather touch shutter release did not feature in later context models. The viewfinder gives consistent focusing with an f.4 lens from near and far. Like several of the early contexts, the RTS uses a horizontal cloth shutter, which will give you vertical black bars instead of horizontal ones if you set the flash sync speed too high when using a flash. The Contax RCS supports a magnifier or right angle finder being fitted on the viewfinder. Seven different focusing screens are available. It can be used with the Osho Macro Bellows PC. There are several winders available for the camera which connect to the bottom of the camera. And a wide range of accessories connect to the cable release socket, including infrared controllers and radio controllers. There was also an interval timer that could be attached to the motor drive. The RTS and funders shown in this video are the result of three RTS cameras that I bought second hand that I had restored to produce two working ones. I was lucky with the fundus as I didn't know that it was a later model when I bought it. I only found out when the repairman commented on it. The RTS is an iconic camera from the start of the Contax range and a little piece of camera history. I would be careful to find one in good condition if considering buying one and it is likely that any would need servicing at least given their age. I have seen a photograph of the three Contax RTS camera models exhibited in an art gallery as a piece of art. I think it was in the Tate Gallery in Liverpool.